Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, May 29th, entitled, Be Still and Know. You know, it's interesting, most of the time when we think of meditation, we think of uh, Eastern religions sitting in a lotus position with uh, our uh, fingers put together like this and kind of chanting uh, some type of melody. But meditation is, is a focus. It's letting our mind be focused on something that is going to give us inspiration and encouragement. In fact, meditation is as old as the scriptures. The psalmist in Psalm 4610 says, Be still and know that I am God. What a great way to just sit and, and focus on who God is is, who He has called us to be, how He empowers us, what He is looking to do in and through our life. The psalmist, in fact, the psalms themselves were focus points to begin to say, God, reveal yourself to me. In the same way, in Joshua 1.8, he says that he meditates on the Word day and night so that he can obey it. The psalmist in Psalm 1.2 says uh, that his delight is in the law of the Lord, and he meditates on it day and night. It's a focus point. It's letting the truth that God has about our life truly sink in, settle in, make a difference in our life. There are so many things that we quote unquote have heard that we flippantly say, oh, I know that. But do we really know it? Have we really let it settle into our spirit? Have we grabbed hold of it with everything that we are? Have we focused on it until it has become part of who we are? Meditation focuses, centers us to go, this is God's word. This is God's truth. I want to let it impact every area of my life. In Zechariah 2, 13, it says, be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he reveals himself to his Holy One. We want to catch an understanding of who God is, not just that vague knowledge like I kind of know about him or I've read a book, quote unquote, about him. We can read a biography about people and know about them, but we don't know them. He says, focus on me, meditate on me. I will give you my spirit to open your understanding as to who I am, that personal relationship that we talked about Sunday morning. And there's no better way to do that than allow worship to be a part of who we are, to focus, to meditate. Sometimes we do it quietly in uh, those reflective moments. Other times we do it through prayer. Sometimes we do it as we worship, as we sing, as we allow uh, music that is dedicated to a truth of God's Word to begin to truly sink in and saturate everything of who we are, that we let that truth become real in our lives. Now, in our devotion today, we have uh, in the uh, notes, I put several different worship CDs that Ben is using right now in our worship. Powerful music, dynamic music, that as you're beginning the first steps of beginning to just focus and let the truth of God's Word permeate who you are. These uh, CDs, these songs, these uh, you can download them uh, off of iTunes or other internet music services. They will begin to focus you on the truth of who God is, how He's empowered us. They are refueling tools. When you're tired, when you're overwhelmed, when you've got a lot going on, this will build you up. It will feed your spirit. That's the reason Philippians 4.8 says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever has a good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on those things. We want to focus. We want to let God's truth have impact. So I encourage you in your prayer, talk to God. Take those reflective moments. Let him speak to you. Read just a small passage. Every once in a while people feel like they need to read an entire chapter of the Bible. No, read just one passage and go, God, make that real to me. Or get a hold of some good worship music and just let it wash over you. Let it sink in. We want to let those truths that God has given us begin to find a fertile place in our life. So I'm giving you some tools today. You can 
do the prayer, you can do reflection, you can read the Word of God and reflect on a passage, or you can get one of those CDs and let them begin to transform, change your life. It'll refuel you. Let's pray. Father, Lord, as we look to you to open our understanding, to empower us, Lord, we can get that through prayer. We can get that through your Word. Worship music becomes a, a wonderful tool to pour that over our life. But Lord, as we create space for you to just let your truth begin to ruminate in every area of our life, that, Father, we will grow, that we will hear your voice, and it will empower, it will refuel us. Lord, let your Spirit empower us to new life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, I encourage you, use some of these tools. Use prayer as a tool. Use reflection and meditation as a tool. Use worship music as a tool. Let that quiet moment allow truth to sink in and transform your life. And I'll see you tomorrow.